Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department. Today is April 30th. Across the state of Michigan, it's now reported there are 40,399 cases of COVID-19, which is an increase of 1,137. And the statewide death toll is now at 3,670 deaths, which is an increase of 103 over the previous day. Here in Kent County, as of this morning, we're at 1,472 cases which is an increase of 85 over the same time yesterday. And thankfully, we're still uh, flat at 33 deaths. And we've been at that number now for several days, which uh, is good news. I think there's a, a danger, and there's always been danger with this pandemic of either uh, thinking that it's the, the worst uh, epidemic ever and that we need to live in fear forever and, and panic, uh, and that's not the case. Uh, and on the other hand, thinking that it's not a big deal and it's just another form of the cold or the flu and that it's not really hurting anyone. There was an excellent article in the New York Times yesterday uh, based on CDC data which looked at deaths, overall total deaths in the United States between March the 8th and April the 11th. And it looked at uh, total deaths this year compared to the average of the past five years. And right now in the state of Michigan, we're at 121%. Uh, of that uh, average of the past five years during that time period, which is an excess of 2,000 deaths more than we see in an average year uh, over those past five years. Uh, 1,391 deaths were attributed to COVID-19 at that time in Michigan for that time period. Uh, so there's about a 600 death gap between the total number of deaths that were reported during that time period in Michigan and the deaths that were attributed to COVID-19. So it seems unlikely uh, that the COVID-19 deaths are overstated. Uh, if anything, it seems like they might be understated a little bit because of lack of testing early on. Uh, there are other, of course, uh, reasons that might explain that, including deaths from, uh, from accidents or from uh, suicide or overdose or any number of other things. Uh, but, but certainly it does not appear as though the COVID-19 deaths are overstated. Uh, it'll be interesting to find out what uh, the full explanation of that, uh, that death toll is and why we're seeing such a, uh, a large number of excess deaths this year. Uh, but certainly COVID-19 is a major contributor to that. And COVID-19 remains uh, the number one cause of death uh, per day in the United States at this time. And you might have heard yesterday that the total number of deaths in the U.S. surpassed now the total number of American deaths in Vietnam. So this is a very serious pandemic. It's very threatening and, uh, and it shouldn't be taken lightly. And at the same time, we do need to think smartly about how to reopen the economy and move forward in a smart way. So I want to encourage you to stay positive, continue to stay heroic. And when I say that, I truly mean it that all of you are acting heroically right now when you follow the public health recommendations, when you limit your travel, when you stay at home when you're sick, uh, when you uh, wear a mask in, pu in public and wash hands and do all the things we've been talking about, uh, you are being heroic. You are uh, reducing some of your liberties for a period of time in order to protect those who are most vulnerable. Uh, and that might include yourself because we're all susceptible to infection from COVID-19. So please continue to stay heroic, stay positive, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. I'm Dr. Adam London with the Kent County Health Department. Thank you.